So here we are in part two of section 2.8, and this section is all about formatting numbers, and there's a lot in here. Uh, I have a ton of code for you to mess around with and and uh, and check out. So anyway, so let's just go ahead and get right into this, all right? So uh, we are talking about formatting numbers on screen, okay? So that means that when it when you like for example when you're using the print function right so we just want it to output onto the screen okay at no time do we want to alter the the actual number that's being stored by the computer okay so this is just your display only and you'll see that here in a second okay so with this we have a built-in format function this is awesome so um thank you uh python for this all right so we have two things uh we have the value that's going to be formatted and then the format specifier, and we're going to we're going to play with that. You'll see that here in just a second. So it returns an actual string that contains a formatted number, and you can here we go on screen right here, right? So you can only use it for output. You can't you don't want to try and do this when you're storing something or any of that kind of stuff because uh, you, you don't want to mess around with that, right? So this is only for displaying on screen. OK, so and we can do it to display a lot of different things. OK, so decimal places, which is a big one, right? Um, comma separators, which is another big one. If you have large numbers, uh, minimum field width, all this kind of stuff that we can do. Right. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. And on the next slide, you'll see this. I know I sometimes I get a little bit carried away with uh, with the highlighting and, and colors, but I think this one will will really help you out. So here we go. Uh, if we are specifying decimal places in a float and we want to round them, and this will actually work as a round, it's built in the format function, we're going to say print, and here's our uh, beginning. So the number is, and you see the close of this uh, string right here, and then a comma, and here is our built in format function. Okay, so just like our print function, right? So we're going to open a parenthesis. And then we're going to put the number in here. Now, this can either be, a, for this particular example, it's a number. Uh, down here, you'll see it is a variable name. Most of the time, it's going to be a variable name. Okay, but I just want to show you what the number looked like. So here's the number, uh, 1.54673. Then there's another comma. And here we go. Well, we're actually telling it what we wanted to do. We're going to specify that right here. So we're going to open a quote. And in this particular example, we have dot 2f. And then we close the quote, close the parenthesis that goes with format, close the parenthesis that goes with the print statement. And this is what we'll end up getting. So the number is 1.55. So this is saying basically you want two decimal places. All right. So if I change this to a three, that will give me three decimal places. Change it to one, one. Right. So if you put a zero, it's going to round up and we're not going to have uh, anything after the decimal place. All right. So that's how that works. Now, if you notice down here. And we'll look at this code in a second. Uh, if you notice down here, we have uh, you know a little program that's being calculated out, blah, blah, blah. And then here we go. So the monthly payment is, and then a comma to separate this. And here is the format function. Okay, so format, we're opening parentheses. Here is the variable name that is found up here, right? So there's a value stored for that. It's going to take the value stored here and another comma here. And then notice I use single quotes this time. So single or double doesn't matter. And the same thing, dot 2f. So this will give us two decimal places again. So let's take a look at the code, all right? Oops, that'll be a minute. Uh, so we have this one. Here's the program again. I gave us a little room right here. Uh, and here's my print statement. And again, this doesn't have to be down here, right? So I could pull this back over here. Not that big a deal. Uh, so in fact, I'll just leave it here when we run it. So here is my format function don't forget this comma here but we have the format function open a parenthesis here which is then closed here this one matches up with this one for the print statement okay so but here's our embedded format function saying i want you to format monthly payment and comma right here and here we go with quote single or double dot to f Close the quote there, okay? So again, two decimal places. So if I hit, say visualize here, it's gonna go ahead and calculate this stuff. And then I get down to this print statement. Here's my monthly payment amount. And when I say next, boom, look at that. Beautiful, 416.67, okay? So again, it looks more like currency. I should have put in a dollar sign here, but we'll get to that in a second uh, with one of the other examples. So anyway, so we have this, notice how this number is staying the same. This has not been altered at all. 
it's just the output was rounded to two decimal places okay so uh this is a very very useful one this is a super obnoxious slide with how how i colored this in here but um this this is how you're going to do currency every single time okay so that you can get the two decimal places all right let's say that we had a big number and we wanted to put a comma in well that's pretty easy to do so on the next slide you'll see this huge number right here dot Eight seven six five four. I don't know, just random keys I'm pushing in there. So here we go. So we're formatting this, and this could be again, this could be a, um, a variable name. So down here we have that, right? Uh, so have this number in here. Here's our comma that goes along with uh, you know putting our our format function in. So format. Here's this piece here. Here's this comma that's separating this number out, and then we have quote comma dot two f the order matters it must go before the dot here right so we would lead with the comma and then what that tells the computer to do is it's telling it hey wherever it's appropriate to put a comma go ahead and put that little baby in so for this one we needed two and it put both of them in there and then my dot two f boom here we go 88 dot 88 right there all right and we could do the same thing with a variable name so if I say variable name here, my annual pay, whatever this might be, same deal, comma. And then here's our quote, another comma, dot, 2F, close the quote, close the parenthesis, and that's it. All right, so that's that's what this in here. If, um, well, let's just go take a look at the code, because I think it's better. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go ahead, add this code. Here we go. So this is, for this particular one, we're saying, hey, we're going to use, remember SEP? We looked at separator last time. Um, so for this time, if we wanted to have um, your annual pay is, and we have a dollar sign right here, right, that we put in there. And then if you say comma, and then here's format, annual pay, so the variable name, comma, and then quote, comma, dot, 2F, and we close that all out. And then at the end, this one has a comma, and then we're saying, hey, we want the separator to equal nothing. So a quote, quote, with nothing in between, we don't want a space in here is essentially what this is saying. So I'm just trying to throw in a couple of examples where you can see some like separator and uh, just to be able to see kind of what it looks like and, and uh, if you want to play with and those kind of things. So on this one, what this will do is it will calculate this all out. And then when it says your annual pay is, here's the dollar sign, there's no space here. So normally, if I didn't have the separator here, there would be a space between the dollar sign and the six. Uh, so for some reason you want to take that out, you could. And then here's your comma that's been added. And then dot zero zero two decimal places. Okay, so this uh, again, great tool for you to be able to play with. All right, so let's take a look at a couple more little examples here. Oh, if you wanted to add a period in, let's do that. So I put this uh, in here too. So that's on this one. Uh, so for this one, because some people say, well, you know, there's no period at the end that really bothers me. So if you really want to do that, okay. Let's go ahead, because you saw end last time too, right? So let's go ahead and throw end in there. Now, there's obviously different ways of doing this. So um, this is actually a pretty complicated way of doing it. Uh, but but I just wanted to show you these, all right? So for this to work, here's what we're doing. We're set, doing the same thing. We've got the format. We've got this piece in here, comma, comma dot 2F. Which this separate equals, quote, quote, is taking away the space between the dollar sign and this particular variable. The end equals quote quote, and again, single or double, doesn't matter for these. Uh, end equals quote quote says, I don't want you to go down to the next line. So that way, when I come down here, I say print, and I put a dot in here, it will use it as a period at the end of the sentence. So I'm gonna back this up, I'll make that a little bigger. And when I walk through here, we're calculating that out, your annual pay is blah, blah, blah. And look at that little beep right there. So it puts a little dot there. Again, I just wanted you to see some of the ways that you might use these, okay, just in practice, all right? So uh, not to say that you have to do this every time or any of that kind of good stuff, but, uh, but but you got that there. One thing that you should be doing every time, though, it, now that you know how to do it, is when you are uh, putting these together for formats, whenever you're doing a program now, you should have, if you're using currency or depending on whatever else you're using, you should have some kind, back this up, sorry, um, some kind of decimal places, right? So if it's currency, you should always have two decimal places and you should go ahead and include the comma in there. Why not? It's just putting the comma right here, 
comma dot two f. Okay. So I don't want to see any like weird answers or scientific notation or that kind of good stuff, especially the currency. It should have two no matter what. Uh, and they'd be appropriate for the other ones. I have a, a problem that you're going to do for homework that has batting uh, averages and that uses three decimal places. So this would be dot three f. Okay. So there's all sorts of good stuff there. All right. So let's go ahead, come back over here, show you a couple more little things with this um this is kind of a fun one because this takes all this jumbled mess and lets you go ahead and specify uh and we use it for for right alignment really is to line up all of these decimal places this bothers me i hate this um so anyway so you want it to look nice right so what we're going to do with this one is we're going to say okay we're going to print we're going to use format here and then open a parenthesis for format. We're going to use the variable name, comma, dot. And notice on this time, we have 7, dot 2f. And then close the quote, close the parenthesis, close this parenthesis. I'll tell you that if you're going through here and you get mistakes, most of the time it's because you forget the second parenthesis. All right, so watch out for that. Let's go ahead and go to this, close, uh, to this uh, quote, and, <laughs> quote <laughs> to this link, and I'll show you what this does. Um, you can see it in here, but if I go all the way back to the code. So here we go. Uh, we have 7.2 so we're saying use seven spaces and we're going to allow two decimal places all right so we're taking this jumble mess we we'll use that with all of them so that when i come down here i'm a little bit big let's see there we go uh and we're storing all these numbers and you'll see this goes down and you can see as i click it's storing all those numbers and then now when we go to display them it's saying whatever this is we want you to go ahead and use seven, uh, seven spaces. I'm going to click next and just kind of walk through these. Take whatever is stored there and apply it to that. But it's going to start with like that. Okay. So it's going to go ahead and um, start. Notice how it put the two decimal places and then work its way this way. So some of them, like this one, took all seven spaces. Okay. So all seven fields. All right. So in this particular um this particular instance, we said seven. If we said nine, these would be all over two more spaces and like the three would start about right here, right? So um, this is a nice way to line things up um, and and set the width really is what we're, we're playing with. So um, th th this is a fun one. If we were in C++, it's called set width. So uh, there's all sorts of little things that you can do. Um, other languages do the same thing, but this is, this is a great, great uh, tool for you to be able to line things up and make them look nice. Okay. So, um, one more, uh, little slide, and then we'll get started on the assignment that goes with this. Okay. So on this one, um, and these are things that you may not use that often, but I wanted to put some other examples in here because sometimes I get questions about, well, how do I use the percent? If I want to use the percent, remember the percent, uh, is our modulus operator. But in this instance, we're actually using it to print the percent sign and, and modify this stuff. So it's good stuff. All right. So let's check this out. For this one, um, in fact, I'm just going to go to the quote, to the uh, code on this one. So let's go back over here. Um, oh, I put way too much on here. Way too much. Let's get rid of all this. Okay. So starting with this one, you notice what we're doing here. We're saying print, open. Here we go. Format, open again. And here's the number that we're going to use, 0.5. And again, this could be a variable name, right? So, so that's the way this works. And then if we say 0.5, comma, and then see in quotes it just has a percent, that's going to convert that. So 0.5 is the same thing as saying 50%. All right? And uh, we have all these little uh, decimal places in here that just kind of extend out, and, uh, and that's what we get, right? So on the next line, where it says format, we're going to use 0.5 again, and we have the comment or a comma there, and then we're going to say, quote, dot zero percent, and then what happens is you get 50 percent like this. So dot zero is going to give us no decimal places. If I change this, in fact, let's just do it and run with it, change this to dot one, then you'll see what that will do. Obviously, you could probably guess, right? Um, so let's do that, and then we'll come back to this other one. Okay, so I'm going to say next. There's my boom, 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 like that. If I say print on this one, look at that. Point one got me one decimal place. All right, and then it's going to go ahead and put the percent sign on there. Okay, this next piece, this is our last piece here, so stay with me. Uh, this last section, I told you, this is, this is a big one. Format numbers, this is a big one. So um, so you really need to know how to do this stuff. Okay, so 
Uh, with this one, we're going to use D for designator. So let's say you have a number. You wanted to put um, a nice little comma in there, but you don't really need to mess with adding decimal places. Maybe it's an integer. Okay, and so for an integer, we want to do this, but we want the comma in there. We want it to do it for us automatically. So you can do the same thing. Format, put your number or variable name here, comma, and then quote, and notice this little comma D for designator, and then quote here. Now, I will say that you don't use this that often, and you're going to use format a lot with um, this style, right? So, because uh, well, we're going to be dealing with decimal places all the time. If you would like, you because this is the output you get for that. If you'd like, I don't care. If you forget the, the uh, comma D, I don't care. If you want to do this style, that's totally fine with me. So in this one, we said comma and then dot zero F for zero decimal places, and it does essentially the same thing for our output, for what we're gonna do. So if you wanna do this, especially for now, um, that's totally fine. If this is easier to remember once you get the hang of it, just stick with that, and you don't need to do this one, all right? So um, I just wanna mention that. Now, one of the homework things you'll see, um, I talked about batting average. Don't forget when you're looking at that, I, uh, your, the formula is given in the problem, so um, you can use those variable names that are in there or use your own, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but when you get to the batting average program, you're going to, um, here's the, the formula here, uh, you're going to display this, and your batting average is displayed to three decimal places, okay? So why isn't this color? We should color this, right? Why not, right? I mean, the slide's kind of boring. I don't have any colors or highlights or anything on there. Okay, so anyway, so three decimal places, and you'll see that in Canvas, all right? So you're going to use dot three F for that one. Okay, so have fun. Uh, don't forget, you can always come back and refer to this section again. Uh, this will be the most common way that you're going to format your numbers to give you two decimal places or any number of decimal places. But um, this is a nice little uh, cheat sheet slide here for, for how to do this. Okay.